been a few months since I've purchased and owned the Leica M11 and I've been carrying this camera around with me pretty much every single day and it's safe to say that I absolutely love this camera. It's the most expensive camera I've ever owned and oddly enough that's not a factor in me liking the camera or my experience with it. This isn't a video to coax you or guilt you into buying a Leica M11. I'm simply just sharing my experience with something that I love and that I believe was worth every single penny that I spent on this camera. So to give you a little bit of backstory into why I choose the Leica M system specifically for my workflow, I've actually owned Leica cameras for a very long time, since 2015. to the M3, to the M3 double stroke, to the M4, to the M4 II, the M6, the M9, the M10R, and the M11. That's a lot of cameras to have gone through over the years, and that's not even factoring other brand cameras that I've gone through, such as Fuji cameras, Nikon cameras, Canon, pretty much everything that's out there. But for me, everything has always led back to a Leica M system. The M2 was a camera I had for about a solid year, maybe a year and a half, I don't fully remember. But that was the first Leica I learned on. It was affordable and it basically taught me how to use the system and really showed me if I wanted to go deeper into the system. Eventually, through all those Leica cameras, I ended up landing on the M6. This was one of my favorite and most preferred ones to use, simply because it has a light meter in it and it also has the focal length for the 28 millimeter frame lines, which some of the other older Leica models do not have. The M4 is essentially my close runner up, but this camera I use so much, along with the other ones, to document a lot of my life learn photography, learn film photography, and just learn how to use a rangefinder system. I also have a pretty emotional attachment to these cameras as they're tools that I've used to document my family over the years. And through that experience, it really just taught me how to use these cameras, what these cameras are capable of, and eventually just becoming an extension of myself. For what I like to shoot and how I like to capture these cameras essentially became the perfect extension of me when it comes to documenting my family and the things that I love and enjoy shooting. When I first started using the Leica, I didn't go all out. I bought the cheapest model I can and the cheapest lens that I could afford at the time and taught myself. And over time, that really shaped my experience with these cameras and showed me what I truly love about them. Most of the time you'll hear purists say that 16 megapixels is enough or 24 megapixels is enough. And that may be true depending on the situation you're using your camera in. For me, I often print my photos and that 60 megapixel resolution really shows its value in the detail you get in your prints. Another thing that a lot of peers will often say is that 60 megapixels is a crutch because you can use it to crop into your photos. But it's not every situation that I have the perfect lens or the perfect setup or I'm at the perfect distance to be able to capture a scene how I want. So having that ability to crop in and still retain that resolution, yet find the frame that I want is critical. I said this in my M11 reveal video, but to quickly reiterate, I believe every modern camera should have internal storage. I personally don't like to use very large SD cards because that will make me lazy and sloppy when it comes to just my post workflow. And I really don't like managing so many photos at once, but essentially being able to have the safety net of internal storage gives me an option to have a backup if something is to go wrong with the SD card that's in the camera. So when it comes to image quality out of the M11, this isn't something that 
gonna try and sell you on or give you this big pitch saying that it's the most wonderful and amazing thing out there. Pretty much any camera you pick up these days is going to give you extremely good image quality and the like is no different from the rest of them. But that's expected out of a camera that costs this much and from my experience using the M9 and the M10R, I do love the improvements over the image quality in this camera. It's much easier to edit these photos and post and in my opinion the way the sensor and the technology inside the camera to produce the image is a lot better and it gives me a lot more consistent and accurate result. As I shoot with this camera I find myself not having to chimp as much and see if I'm getting the correct exposure. For the most part every single time I use this camera the image that I get out of it is nearly perfect. And lastly, when I'm editing and adjusting colors in Lightroom or Capture One with this camera, I find it pretty easy to match the colors to something that just looks pleasing to my eye. If you've never held a Leica camera before, one thing to emphasize is the build quality. These are extremely premium cameras with the materials that they use to build these cameras and honestly they're built to last. That's kind of what you'll see across the board with these cameras. A lot of people like to baby their cameras or especially baby something that they spent so much money on, but that's not me. I like to be a little rough with my cameras and show the wear and tear. I'm not afraid to use these cameras how they're meant to be used. They're tools for me personally. They're not items that I just want sitting on a desk and looking pretty at all times. And with time and that aging, and honestly you see this in most cameras or most older cameras or film cameras, that aging just adds to the character and to the look of the cameras, which is something that I personally really love. So overall, I'm very satisfied with this camera. I'm simply glad to have the digital counterpart to my preferred shooting experience back in my life. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you and please subscribe so that I can continue to do more like this. Peace.